Thank you. President Zelensky just gave an incredibly powerful address to Congress. And I think people got to see once again what we've been seeing for weeks, and that is just why President Zelensky is inspiring the people of Ukraine and people all around the world who are rallying behind these strong, incredibly tough people during a brutally, uh, brutally diff difficult invasion by Putin. Uh, when President Zelensky showed that video, you really got to see firsthand the, the sheer brutality uh, of what Putin is doing inside Ukraine. It was very difficult to watch. It was heartbreaking. Uh, but it shows you that there's nothing less than genocide going on in Ukraine uh, by Putin and his army. And so as Zelensky made a plea to the United States, to President Biden, he's continued to reiterate that the people of Ukraine just want more tools to be able to defend their country, especially right now to be able to control the sky. And that's why getting these MiGs in immediately is so critical. The longer President Biden waits <laughs> trying to figure out excuses to not offend Putin, uh, it's, it's costing lives in Ukraine. He's got to make that happen. It's a, a plea Zelensky continued to make, uh, as well as a plea for other things uh, that I, I think the American people want to do to give them the tools that they need to defend their country. Uh, so as, as we look where we are, this is another opportunity for America to step up to and take away Putin's leverage on energy. There's no reason that Putin should be pocketing hundreds of millions of dollars a day by selling oil to America and the United States uh, when we could cut that off right now uh, by opening up our reserves, opening up areas that have been closed uh, by President Biden to leasing so that Putin does not have that leverage over America or Europe to finance this brutal invasion. So we're going to continue to stand with the people of Ukraine and pray for them that they're able to have the tools to defend themselves against what Putin's doing. Now I'll turn it over to our conference chair, Elise Stefan.